Welcome back to the Pentagon Challenge. And uh, so, so far, these are the. Uh, remember last time, actually, um, we um, we went to Kitchi Sports Club in Hong Kong, and uh, these were the transfers in the end. Um, uh, it, really, looking at the team, the, 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 the most, um, the biggest need really was uh, was a goalkeeper. So I picked up Aaron Cruz, who, as you can see, has done a, you know, it's got a, got a lot better stats. You know, got a, you know, almost a five rating. So you know, he's he's going to be a very good goalkeeper for Kitchi. However, he got injured. Um, where do you see the injury? Yeah, there we go. Uh, a slip disc, three months out. Pretty much just as soon as I bought him, uh, which created a bit of an issue, really. So I had to get this guy in. Very cheap wages, hundred and twenty pound a week. Yeah, he's not much to look at, but really it was that or played a seventeen-year-old who basically was, you know, something like free silver stars. So that was kind of the business we did. We we let go of a of a, a goalkeeper. Um, he he went first one on loan. Um, so I believe this is Yan Bian Baidu, who is in China, Chinese second division. Um, you know, he was never going to really going to play a game. Um, remember, if you remember rightly, I um I talked about Wang Wang Chen Peng. He you know three hundred fifty pounds a week. Um, really nothing much to look at. So I you know I've let him go on loan to uh, Bu Chun, who's in the same league as us. And believe it or not, you know there's there's that oh no, no that's that's that same uh, um, that's that same uh, transfer, but yeah so pretty much all the business in goalkeepers which is you know a little bit strange. So how have we been doing? So let's have a look at the fixtures quickly. Um, so really, it's gone fantastically well. If I just look at the league table first, yeah, hundred percent record. Ten ten games won. Uh, you know, out of 10, 30 points, already open up 11 point lead over South China, who have really only just crept into second place um, now. Uh, so I'll just run you through the fixtures. So we started off the friendlies, um, I won't put you through those. The first game was against Sun Pegasus, and um, really, we, you know, we were, Jordi Tarez, who's also actually got injured of recent, you know, he's been very good. Scored the first. Matthew Lamb, another top top player, tends to play just in behind the striker. Got one and and uh, Landon Ling equalised for them, but Fernando Recio made the points safe. Um, Four two away to Sun High. We actually this one was a bit disappointing for some reasons. I mean, we took a we raced into a four 0 lead, and I was thinking, you know, this could be a uh, you know a rugby score here, but uh, but they picked us back a bit. Um, Reynaldo Perez and Jamie, Jamie's McKee again. Matthew Lamb picking up two there, so he really is uh, having a top quality uh, season. Um, ben Lencozo has been great. You know, I thought he would do well, and he has. And he picked up the only goal in the, the South China derby um, game for us. You know, in the end, it was quite an even game. You can see ten shots to eight, six on target to two. They actually played pretty well, South China. Um, I, I think a draw might have been a fair result, but we we pipped them in the end. Uh, then we went to so we, we went to Southern District, and uh, again, you know, took a very early lead. Matthew Lamb, Lamb Kai Wai, he kind of plays in in central midfield. He's actually become quite a decent little player, and uh, he's done quite well. Um, Juan Carlos Belancoso again picking up a goal. Um, Chui Ruinqui uh, picked up the goal for Southern District in that game. Um, a, a tough one actually. Um, Eastern Salon, um, you know, really not a not a great side. And it's kind of look at the stats and you think, how on earth has that game finished three two? Yeah. So, I mean, we were one nil up and then they 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 pipped us back. We took a two one lead and then a three one lead and then again they pipped us back. This Dylan McAllister guy, you know, doesn't look a lot but he he seems to do pretty well. Um, and yeah, so that was a three two win. Probably the closest game we had, apart from maybe South China game, it was pretty close. Happy Valley, um, pretty easy in the end. Ben and Kozo, Matthew Lamb, just absolutely, you know, doing the business there. Two for Ben and Kozo, one for Lamb. Um, five nil against Citizen, and this was a big result because Citizen were right behind us in second place going into this game. I think it actually had a, a hundred percent record as well. So we you know we absolutely obliterated them. Lamb with a hat trick, and Anne, who's done reasonably well, played a lot on the left wing. 
this season um, and Jang Kyun Jin the uh, South Korean centre back uh, with a 5 0 win, a huge result, really, and, uh, and you know that really put us on our way to where we are now. Um, then you know we follow that up with, you know, okay, Twen Mun are not a great side to be fair, but uh, we, we absolutely uh, you know obliterated them. Wang, Car Wang Carlos Belencoza with three, Lamb got one. Wang Yang, who plays in again centre mid centre midfield generally for me, he got two, and he you know late ones as well just to really rub it in they got a late a late um, a late consolation goal but at the end it was very comfortable 7-1 in the end huge win for us and we continued our brilliant form 5-1 um, in the league uh, Belenkoza with 2 again an early goal uh, Lo Kuan Yi he's played a lot of, off the wing uh, it, when um, since Jordi uh, uh, Taras has been injured actually he's been playing on the right hand side um uh, and yeah, so he's. I mean, you can look at his stats. He's not. He's not all that really. But, but you know, low wages and you know does the job. Um, Matthew Lamb again, goal and Toe Toe Honto got a got a got a late one to to make it five one. He's kind of the uh, utility striker. He's nothing special at all. Uh, really, not not great stats. But I kind of need someone to, to sometimes come in. He's got some versatility because he actually can play left. Right and and strike all day. So he, you know, he really can't play left. But I've, I've played him there a few times, I think, from memory, and he's done not too badly. Um, so another huge win, and we just kept it. Just they just kept coming. You know, Happy Valley quarterfinals of Senior Shield, um, five one again. Anan with one, Belencoza with three, Gao Wen, um, Tino Legata got one back for uh, Happy Valley but in the end comfortable look at their stats I mean 23 shots to 4 just absolutely obliterated them in the semis um, we played Twen Moon um, so I was right in terms of the you know the, the, the fixtures are right are one after the other um, from a previous video um, Lam Kar Wai Danny Kansela who's the um, who's I think the right back is he left back yeah left back for the side Belenkozo and Chen Kin Thung again he's kind of a utility player can play all down that left wing generally Cancela plays left um, left back and then you've got um, Anan playing left wing but you know sometimes bring him on in fact I think this is the game where he came on and scored instantaneously yeah I think that that's right but yeah an easy win in the end um, you know nothing much to it and then we went back to the league and we had Yokohama who having a bad season although they have you know not a bad team and again, Lo Kuan Yi, Danny Cancela, 2 0. So that brings me to today's game. So today's game is against South China. It is the final of the Senior Challenge uh, Challenge Shield, or as, as it's called, the Kanbo Senior Challenge Shield. Um, and yes, yeah, so and we're going to basically play this game live today. Um, I believe the game's played in neutral stadium, so I'm not away, but yeah, so it's. It, Hopefully, it could be the first piece of silverware for Mr. Andres Salazar. Um, so let's go straight into the game. Um, I normally don't watch the highlights, really, uh, but I will put him in on 3D for this um, for this game, so you guys can see it all. Uh, let's do a quick pick just to get rid of some guys. Okay, um, looks like we got a Matty Lamb. Where's Matty Lamb? I'm trying to work out exactly where he is. He's injured, so we've got. A Few key people out really. Um, I think I'd like Chan Mai Fai there in in, in Lam. Yeah, it's a close one really. I think put, drop him there. Chan Mai Fai, Man Fai in the middle. Uh, looking at it, Teresio Tsang Kam To. I'm not a huge fan of him there really, but. Yeah, so I think I think they'll have to do really. Um, we got Maming Chun, who's uh, he's a fullback. Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna have to do. I mean, Jolly Terrors is still out. Matthew Lamb's still out. So Ton Ton Ho Ton, who's you know he's not a he's not a huge miss, but you know a few key players out um, for this game. So we'll see how we do. Um, that's the tactic, by the way. Um, so really, it's actually a base from a, a, a tactic I downloaded. But basically, I've, I've made a few amendments to it. Um, I can't remember exactly which ones uh, now, but I'll try and I'll try and look that up. But basically, as you can see, it's a, it's effectively a four-two-three-one or a four-five-one, as you might see it. Um, 
it's high tempo, so the, the whole purpose is to keep the ball on the on, on the deck, so to speak, most of the time. Um, really play it out to the wings, or also, but also through the centre. But the key to I think the tactic is the high tempo and working the ball into the box. So you've got a, you know, you've got some very quick moving, quick quick movement, quick passes between the players, and it really helps if you've got a. These two are quite important, so that the striker and the uh, attacking playmaker, because it. Really, they're the ones who create the space in behind. Uh, in many cases, and, and often, you know, it'll be the, the attacking playmaker gets on the end of it, or the ball end, ends up wide, and, and and the wingers get a shot, or the ball falls to the striker. So, really, it's quite a good a good tactic. It's always works very well so far. The the, the mentality has been attacking, and I haven't really experimented with this. Um, whether I would bring it down slightly if it was, you know, a team that maybe was, you know, not as good as Kitchy or. Um, in in this league or you know in, in another league let's say um, so I haven't really uh, messed with that and fluidity again is pretty balanced so you know you've got play, you know it's, it's a balance between the positional play so players sticking to their positions and also being a bit more more fluid but it allows them to be a bit more expressive so sometimes that that gets you into issues sometimes you know it really is is the key to opening up a defence. Um, so yeah, and then hassling opponents another key one. So yeah, they, you know the idea is kind of a Barcelona tactic in many respects to kind of close down opponents and not let them have the ball. You know, I guess our our Spanish uh, Basque uh, manager would would approve. Anyway, let's go to the game. Uh, so so that Diego Martins guy's a pretty decent player actually uh, for South China. Um, the first game, it, you know, it's very very close between uh, Kitchi and South China. So. I get this distinct feeling that um you know let me just change this quickly. Let's go to key. Let's go to 3D. What do I normally do? Normally main stand, I guess, or director. Let's go director. Yeah, director. Okay. Uh, okay, that's all I need. Right, let's do the the team talk. Uh, let's see how we. Uh, Respond. I've been noticing actually. My players don't respond that much. I think it's because of the, uh, of the um, in my reputation really. So let's start the match. Got key highlights on. And um, ooh, what's going on? Here? Uh, pitch. There we go. All right. So South China on the attack there. And uh, Cruz. Let me just slow this down. Actually, it's a bit quick. Actually. So uh, San Cam Toe. And it's Lolo Kuan Yi. Oh, he's lost it there. So Luke Chi Ho for South China. Bringing it forward. Catch Coot. That's going to be a foul, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to be a foul. What's he going to give him? Uh, nothing. Okay, that's that's probably the right decision, I think. So, not much happened so far, but, you know, South China on the ball and Garlock Louis. What a great name that is. Um, on the ball. Um, can we close them down? Go on. And that ball's to no one. Danny Cancella has a chance now to exploit the space. And here we go, Wang Yang. Oh, Belenkoso! Miscontrolled it. Should have. Should have done better with that, you feel. Um, and Cancella again. And then. And, and it's still Cancella. And, uh, you know, we're doing well here. Good passing in the centre. And then look at that intricate play. Oh, go on! Oh, good save, good save. That's a good save, that one. Let me just uh, minimise that. So nil nil, looking a bit tense so far. Not many chances, and they've got a corner, and that's never good. Oh, uh, get away! Oh, great save, great save, Cruz. God, this is a tense one. Still nil nil, and they're, they're having plenty of the ball. I tell you now, this reminds me of the, our first game. Oh, Diego Martins, he's dangerous. Oh, it's got to be. Oh, what a save! What a save! Oh, he's point blank. He's absolutely point blank to it. And they've had six shots to our two. Ah, goodness me! Come on, let's get an. Let's 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 get a goal. In a goal this half. Oh, cut it. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it. Nice. Wang Yang. 
Oh, God, that's a poor ball, in it? Just plays him into trouble there. And uh, Jack Seeley. Southampton. I'm surprised how much of the ball they've had. I mean, we really have been second best in this game. Dan Cancela. Come on. Chan Mai Fai. Oh, that is a great ball. Belenkoso. Oh, yes, there it is. 1 0. Great finish. 15th goal of the season for him. You know, considering we've probably only played about 15 games, that's a great record. Come on, from the corner. From the corner. Oh, he's got it. Oh, it's two. It's Belenkoso again. Juan Carlos Belenkoso. And suddenly this game is turned on its head. South China were dominating. Um, you know that, that pretty much that first half, and suddenly Belenkoza has just changed this game, and uh, they're going to be happy. And uh, I think I'm not going to touch this side. You know, I think we're doing very well at the moment. So um, let's keep going. And uh, Danny Cancela, right? No, no highlight to show us. Oh, another corner. They're having problems controlling. Oh, off the post! It's in. <laughs> Bizarre goal, very bizarre goal. Yeah, they've given it to Yang, Jang Kyung Jin, but uh, but it's the bizarrest goal I've probably seen for a while. It's come off the post, somehow come back into the, you know the box and come off a leg, which they've somehow adjusted to be uh, our, our South Korean defenders. And uh, suddenly we find ourselves three 0 up in the uh, in the senior shield. Have do South China have a response? Is the question. Do they have anything? Left in the locker uh, because you know half an hour left, and you know it, they probably ha they probably have to score now to really have any chance in this. You, you'd expect. Oh, that's not a good tackle. He's going to get put for that. Yeah, yeah. You can see that one coming. So, South China. What have they got? They got Martin. Oh, they're playing like nice little. Uh, Nice little passes. Joel Emir. Oh, Leung Chin Pong. Oh, he's put it wide. That is criminal. If you look at the stats, they look like they've had just as good a game as we have. You know, just as many chances. Been very even, but the difference has been in the finishing, I think, more than anything. Sam Cam To. Lam Ka Wai. Chan Man Fai. I like Chan Man Fai. He's a good player. He, you know, well worth bringing him on for the final. Oh, lost it there. Danny Cancel, that's poor. Oh, that pass. Who was that to? Belencoso. Oh, and then Belencoso. Oh, could have been a final hat trick. And it was a great save in the end. Great save. I think we're going to make a substitution in a second. Um, in fact, I'm going to think about it now. So, let's bring Galwen on. He's always a good utility player. Just to uh, bring on right back. He's a bit young. They're both a bit young, actually. But I'll bring him on. Good experience. And I think the game's pretty much won, to be fair to it. Um, so, 13 minutes away from my first trophy. That's Kitchi manager. Lo Kuan Yi. Lam Ka Wai. Ma Ming Chun. Oh, that's great football. Here's the youngster. Oh, good save. Good save. And uh, into the box, but not going to show us that one. But uh, Kozer's looking a bit rough and ready here with 73%. So, 90th minute, it's all but over. Is there a, even a consolation for South China? Oh, they might do here. There you go, Martins. Tick out. Oh, he's. Oh, somehow, somehow, we've got it away there. Recio. Well, there. There, guys, just, you know, what are they doing there? I don't know what they were doing there. Uh, Chan Mai Fai. Oh, oh, that's over. We've won it. It was a good win in the end, I think. Um, yeah, let's tell the boys that, you know, they've done well. And uh, in the end, man of the match, as you'd expect, Juan Carlos Balancoso. Um, he also finished with six goals in the trophy in the in the, uh, in the tournament, which is quite a lot from three games. Um, so they had this one leg to go down the penalties, and they were wrong. We'd won it in the end um, in normal time, three 0 Belenkoza with two, and I mean, I've forgotten he scored the final one. 
but uh, it don't matter. We've won that that trophy, so we've won the Sheen and Shield. Everyone's happy about it, as you can see. Um, yeah, let's just quickly do this. Yeah, I'll, I like to that, put that option in the um, in uh, what well, when you're doing your your press conference seems to just kind of probe at the other managers, which is I always find a uh, funny and enjoyable. It's 21k, and uh, and yeah, so yeah, so I mean, really, we're doing very well. Um, it's looking like we're going to win the title this season. Um, got a cup next next time round. Just to let you know, uh, uh, that's the Hall of Fame. So a little check at the Hall of Fame. That's worth five points. All of five points. So uh, yeah, don't think we'll be getting anywhere near Sir Alex Ferguson anytime soon. But yeah, so I think we'll win the league this season. It's looking like that. I mean, I don't want to count my my chickens uh, too early, but it's it's looking like that. So the question will be: well, Do I move from uh, Kitchy? Should that happen? Because the thing, the issue with Kitchy is, and generally, in fact, not just Kitchy Hong Kong, is that if we look at their fixtures, um, they enter this AFC Cup, but that's not the Champions League. That's this Confederations Cup, um, and it's been kind of reading up on it. It's Basically, um, so if I say take Reef, so from Bahrain and Q8, from obviously Q8 and the SAF, it's for it's a tournament that is effectively for kind of the smaller nations of of, of Asian football. Um, basically, you know the main the main uh, trophy. If I just go up to it, the Champions League, you've basically got Chinese, South Korean. Um, Iranian, um, you know, so like top teams, Qatar, I think, to qualify, yeah, Qatar, Al Sadd is Qatari. Um, so you've got the, basically only the top teams really qualify, um, as you can see, um, from the top nations. So it's kind of going to be a bit difficult with a team like Kitchi to really be able at any point to really get anywhere near um, a Champions League, um, simply from that perspective. But at the same time, the other thing that we need to obviously pay attention to, I guess, go to uh, profile, is you know the reputation. <clears throat> now, I don't think this is going to improve um, from seventy-one percent. If, if I'm honest, I think the club, <clears throat> because um, where can I see this? I think I'll have to go to Hong Kong um, and view all clubs. So we're like a. Us and South China, we're, we're a one and a half star um, clubs basically, but we play in a in a one star league, unfortunately. So we can keep winning the the uh, the the Red MR First Division League, you know, over and over again, but it probably wouldn't do anything more than um, potentially, uh, you know, obviously a few more points added to our to our uh, uh, Hall of Fame, but I don't think it. Radically improve our, our 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 reputation. So what I think I'm currently thinking is potentially what I'll do is I'll stay this season and potentially next season, and then start looking at what's available and I'll start keeping an eye on what's available anyway. So I, I'm really going to change this to available jobs, um, and I'm going to change this to uh, insecure jobs just so we can kind of keep I can keep an eye on on you know if there's any job comes up whether it's um, you know just you know some job I think I can get but it might be available um, I'll just keep an eye on, on on this just to make sure that I don't miss any opportunities I mean at the end of the day I'm, I'm not going to be able to go to like a Seoul FC or a Guangzhou of Grande um, from someone like Kitchu simply because of the size of the club um, so what I'll do next is I think I'll I'll just keep playing through um, until we probably reach the final game of the season or <clears throat> I know presumably that this tournament will start again because I think we've probably qualified it f for it um, um, this year so it runs in between years it's kind of a, quite annoying actually because it, it ends it probably ends around about now although we were knocked out knocked out of it so yeah it ended in the 9th of November, so it ended uh, there in between those, that game. That was when the final was, but it'll, the tournament will start again in kind of April time. So there'll, there'll be um, there'll be fixtures um, potentially after this Bu Chan 
um, results. So I'll, I'll put it by here and see what looks like the most interesting result. I mean, if we keep going like this, then this this game, the Buchan game, is going to be completely, um, you know, dead rubber. We're, we're going to end up, you know, winning a title somewhere like this, like here or here. So, um, so I'll play it by ear. So anyway, um, thanks for joining me. Um, things are going very well. Um, I, in fact, I'll just show you quickly um, some of the main uh, players. So Belenco, as you can see, ten in ten, sixteen in eighteen. Uh, Matthew Lamb, who's been injured now, uh, twelve in nine in the league, and thirteen in sixteen. It's absolutely incredible. Um, and again, uh, anyone else that's pretty worth? I think there's two of the main guys. Jordy Terry actually before he got injured. Oh no, I'm surprised actually. He's actually he was having, not having that great a season. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, I'll I'll join you right at the end of the season. We can you know kind of go through to hopefully the final game of the season and just you know I guess have a uh, a debrief on on how things have gone in my first season. Um, and yeah, so yeah, thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time.